Today I'm be making a super cool shoe that you're not gonna wanna miss out on, so let's get right to it. As you can see, I'm using stuff like blue python, just normal black leather and gray suede. This is my rendering that I came up with. So I think it's gonna look super cool. It's gonna be off-white Jordan 1s. Man, we might even call them like Oreos. What about Chips Ahoy? We got, we got Chips Ahoy. We could go rain, I'm drinking ra Razzleberry. If, if Oreo's motto is like, milk's favorite cookie, then this could be a sneakerhead's favorite shoe or the, a TikToker's favorite shoe. We got lots of names to throw out there, but let's start sewing, stitching this shoe all together and see what it turns out to be. So we are now here. As you can see, it's starting to look like a off-white shoe. What I did was instead of making it seamless, I just um, rolled them together and I'm gonna stitch along the line, kind of kind of give it that off um, that off-white look, but it's still gonna be stitched up throughout the top. Um, throughout the bottom right here, I'm gonna just do the blue stitching all the way around. But this is where I'm at so far. I think it looks um, pretty cool inside outside it's starting to look like an off-white shoe you know you got this off-white piece you got just a little chunk hanging out you got the non-stitched wings hanging out so they are looking good so far next is i got to put all the insides in i got to pretty much stitch the top got to stitch all the way around from there i'm gonna build the toe and put it all together and last so i'm gonna keep on stitching So the shoe's coming along. As you can see, I did a stitch all the way across the top. So it's slowly coming along, you know, with the black liner. I did super thin um, padding on this shoe because I didn't want it to be too chunky. I want it to be still comfortable, but also thin. I just feel like the, um, the off-white shoes, that's kind of the look that it goes for, but it's still super soft and padded on the inside where it'll still feel normal, but it just won't be too thick hanging out. So this is where we're at now. Now I got to stitch on the wings. But as I said before, really like how it turned out. Also, if I point that out, I did the little off-white um, little, what would you call them, spikes hanging out. So I think that's a cool touch, especially if I'm walking around and I keep the, and whoever wears them keeps the, um, the little tab down, then that gets exposed. So it shows a little bit more detail. Um, I'll have to come back around. I think they're double stitched. I'll have to check it out. But I mean, like all these patterns I made on my own, so I'm slowly going along and, you know, just like finding out what I like about it, what I don't, what I have to change up, what I won't have to change up. But I mean, so far, this is it. Also, if I point out the tab, it's hanging off a little bit because that's how the um, off-white tab is. It's like a deconstructed version. Obviously, that's how the off-white shoe is. It's like the deconstructed version of the Jordan 1. So it's slowly coming along. So let's start stitching more and um, see where it takes us. I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna do um, like a blue and black tab. So I might just do an all black tab for the tongue, but I also might do like maybe uh, blue on top, black on the bottom or blue on one side, black on the other side. I don't know, change it up. Also, I'm gonna do a white Python Nike. So I'm gonna do white Python Nike right there. So I think that would be cool as well, you know, to make it um, pop instead of just doing a blue Nike sign or the like the suede Nike sign or black Nike sign. I think the white will pop because I'm gonna be doing a black and white sole on it. So let's just keep on going and um, go from there. Super happy with how they're turning out so far. As you can see, you know, I got the double stitch right there, double stitch along the top. Um, I'm super excited with how they're turning out. They're looking super cool. I really just like, you know, how it's like all tying together. So now the next step is to punch out all the holes for the laces. So what I got, my handy dandy hole puncher, and all that I'm gonna do is go around 
and hole punch the holes before I cut out my Nike sign. So I punched the holes on the top as well as the bottom. Got the wings on the flat part as well as the inside. Got the holes on the wing as well as the inside. And I'm just gonna keep on punching the holes through the middle. Got all the holes punched out, starting to look more like a shoe. So now what I got is my swoosh that I cut out. And if you check that out, that's what it's pretty much gonna look like. So I really like it. The white looks great on the blue and black as well. So now I'm gonna cut it out with the white python. I traced out the Nike sign, so now I'm gonna cut it out. So they're both cut out. And the one Nike sign, as you can see, I just wrapped thread around it and that's going to give it that off-white look. So with this wrapped around, I'm now going to um, stitch on the orange patches that I also cut out just to make it look even more off-white, you know. So now I'm going to stitch that all onto the shoe and then we're going to go from there. I just got done stitching the tab. I think it came out awesome. I just had a, a single strip around the whole edge of just black thread. The top line's black thread and then a double white thread right here. The back is all black. It's um, super nice, it's flush, it blends right in. And that's gonna go well with the liner. You know, everything's just nice and simple. So with that, what we're gonna be doing is stitching the toe and the tongue together and I'll probably just use black thread for that as well. And it's slowly coming along. You know, it's gonna look like that. So I'm super happy with how it's turning out so far. From there, I'll stitch this onto the upper. Before we know it, we got ourselves a full on shoe. We start lasting, throw on the sole, and it looks like a really sick shoe. So I'm just gonna keep on sewing, keep on going throughout the, um, the process and see where we end up. So the shoe is all stitched together. As you can see, it came out super nice. So the next thing that I got to do is last it up and it's pretty much all done. I'm either gonna be doing white or black laces for that, I'm not sure yet. It's gonna be on a black and white sole, so that's gonna look super clean. But I mean, this is it so far. We got the baby blue stitching right there, as well as it back here in the orange tab. So it's coming along super nice. This is the inside. This is the outside, that's the back, and that is the front. So I'm super happy with how it turned out, especially, you know, just a double white stitching right there. I think it really adds, you know, um, nice detail. Even though it's a small thing, I still really like it, as well as the flapped wings. So the laces are gonna go through this, but this is gonna be sit over the laces. So I think that's gonna be super cool. And I, um, I'm really happy with how they're turning out so far. So here's another quick review, little, overview of what it looks like. The back isn't stitched as well, so I really like that, so they, they could just hang there. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna put numbers right here or, you know, something like that, as well as, you know, on the inside, I don't think so. I think I'm just gonna leave it plain. I, I like that look more personally, but this is what it looks like so far. Thanks for checking out this video. I've seen that most of the viewers are unsubscribed, so if you can, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications. Thanks for checking out my video. Go check out my other ones as well. Until then, see you later.